30-year-old Tedomondi is a product of St. Mary's High School Yala, another breeding ground for top rugby players in Kenya. Teddy Philippomondi did not get into the rugby pitch by choice. It is a sport that he was introduced to by a close friend and one of the greatest rugby players in Kenya, Derek Wamalwa. It has been an eight-year stint as a professional rugby player in France. Currently, I'm playing in France for a club called uh, Sporting Rugby Nazarian. It's called San Nazaire. And uh, I'm coming to the end of my contract, so I'm, sign I'm signing to a new club called uh, Van. By default, Kisumu RFC was the closest club to St. Mary's School in Yala, and that was his first club. In Nairobi, he played for two of the Ngong Road rivals, Impala RFC and then Kenya Harlequins. Within two years, Teddy had moved to Wales in the UK on a sports scholarship. He was studying and playing for the National Sevens team, then he got a lucky break. I got lucky to be spotted by the manager of Racing Metro, Eric Blanc, when uh, we were playing in RB Sevens 2005. And uh, uh, I was uh, 2006, sorry, and uh, I was offered a one-year contract with the Racing Metro. When Teddy played in Kenya, he was quite small in size as compared to the massive winger that he is at the moment. Nine years of rugby in France has contributed to the massive gain. It is part of the job. For the years, I've been uh, bulking up because when I got to Racing Metro, I was 88 kilograms. And I remember my first uh, one month of training was very hard because I had, they had to put me up in a gym because all, and I was playing wing. All the other wingers were 95 plus. So I had to add uh, six more kilograms, six or seven kilograms to be more competitive. Ted says rugby in France is more structured with more grassroots involvement right from schools to colleges to clubs at all levels. Age grade rugby is taken more seriously, going as low as under nine as compared to Kenya where players like Ted start the basics of rugby at 15 years of age. Ted was one of the greatest rugby sevens players with a burst of speed and a quick step. It requires a lot of uh, ad uh, adaptation and um, I would honestly tell you right now I, I, am more, I, have more, I am more of a 15s player than a sevens player. But, if, but going back five years back, I, I preferred sevens to fifteens. Living in a foreign country can be a challenge, especially if you do not speak the language. For Ted, it was the case that was helped by former Kenya national football team captain, Denis Oliech, who plays for the French League Two side, Ajaccio. Well, Denis was a good friend and he's still a good friend. We, uh, we hung out a lot and uh, but now, since he's moved towns to a different city, we see each other less, but we, we try and, and communicate from here and there. He was in France before I got there, so when I got there, he, uh, we, he helped me um, know, know my way around a, a little bit. With the Kenya 15s team missing to qualify for the Rugby World Cup, falling at the last hurdle, Amondi feels this was a good effort and is the result of the hard work of the different generations of rugby over the years. It means the work that has been there over the years is bearing fruit, not necessarily for the current generation, but for the, um, for the upcoming players who, who want to play rugby, who want to be uh, identified with the game, they will know that there's a possibility for them to play at the highest level of rugby available on the planet, which is the World Cup. He's already planning for the future, taking coaching classes other than playing rugby. What he is learning, he is putting into practice, currently helping out with the under-19 Kenya team before heading back to France for the start of the new season. I'm studying with the FFR uh, rugby degrees. Uh, I've done uh, up to the third level. Um, I'm going to do my fourth level this year. Afterwards, you do Masters 1 and Masters 2. Masters 1, you're looking at uh, coaching a fully professional side and a national side. Masters 2, you're looking at developing the game and, uh, and going uh, regional, so it's more of administrative stuff. But I would really love to stay in the field as I, as I love to be uh, talking to guys and, 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 and be more involved in the, uh, in the game, at the heart of the game. 
With a new team and a new contract, Omondi is rearing to go to put in at least three more years of rugby in France. Mm -hmm.